Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and, uh, do you know how last episode I ended the day on the target week? That means it kind of reset. Like, it's still the same day, but for some reason, every time you do a tar- or end it on a target week, it resets the target. So, right now, my targets are Esperoba and Rex Raptor. Way easier targets than I thought I would get. I know they reset because I just did a bunch of two-player duels with my friends and I had to go through this screen every time and it changed every time. So we are going to continue on with the story. I know we just did the tournament and that's great and all, but right now what we're going to focus on is finding these guys. So we need Esperoba and Rex Raptor. Esperoba's right there. Okay, at least we got one of them. Rex Raptor shouldn't be that hard to find, but Esperoba's a good find. Yeah, well, let's see how yeah, let's see how we do against Esperoba is a joke, but might not be a joke because I've made a brand new deck for the two-player duels, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, let's just say as far as the two-player duels goes, it's 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 mixed. It's a mixed result. I'm gonna go ahead and set the stern mystic. Yes, this new deck I made involves a lot of spellcasters because I got a lot of spellcaster cards thanks to the new Dark Magician Girl pack. Now I'm going to be doing this. And this is why I set the Stern Mystic, because the Stern Mystic can do me a favor. What is my opponent's cards? Okay. Big Eye. We now know that's a big eye. Magic Jammer, so if I use a spell, I'm in trouble. And Shadow Eye. So he has nothing scary, and he has a big eye in defense mode. Which means I can do whatever I want this turn, and he can't stop me. The only thing he could stop is my ma uh, is with uh, the only thing he could stop me with is magic jammer, and he's not going to. So let's go ahead and do two thousand damage to him this turn. Granted, uh, he does get to choose what card he wants next. I can respect it. Even though I said this uh, this deck is a spellcaster deck, think of it more as a spellcaster deck with a few fiends, a few fiends to fit. It's a Yami deck. I have Yami in this deck, but it is all around the Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl and. Even a special mag oh, and Magician of Black Chaos, and even a special Magician that you might not see very often. Oh, You dick. You have to pay a thousand life points to do that. In fact, I, you only did a thousand damage to me back for that thousand you just paid for, you jerk. I'm still upset that he did that. I can't believe he's done that. Alright, Dark Magician. That's the card I've been looking for. So first, let's get him to use his, uh, yeah. Get him to use his, uh, that magic jammer. We know his cards are terrible, so let's go ahead and snatch o Steelo. And instead of using our two monsters, because one of them will cost me a thousand to attack, let's summon our great Dark Magician card. I have two Magician of Fates in this deck, so I'm not worried about getting my cards back. I can get Snatch Steel back easy peasy. Dark Magician, and of course I picked the red Dark Magician. It is the coolest one, no matter what anybody says. Cooper is always right, and Cooper says red is the best. And yes, I am correct. So one more attack from the Red Dark Magician, and we'll have this duel in the bag. Let's see what he does. Didn't draw a monster. He gave up. We know his final face down is a Shadow of Eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and attack for game. Guys, that is how you beat Esperoba, one of our targets, with our new... I guess I could just call it a Dark Magician deck. Dark Magician deck. Should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. Also... High risk deck. High risk. Because I have more than 40 cards in this deck. Yeah, your psychic powers don't work. Thank you, Mr. Target. That's all you were to me. And let's get our cell... Let's get our trap pack. I know we get a lot of the same stuff, but there's some good... Ooh, gravity bind. There we go. But there's some good traps in here I don't have yet. I mean, I'm still looking for Call of the Haunted, for crying out loud. Once I get Call of the Haunted, then I'll know I'm, I'm good. Hey, duelist. Guess what we're getting today. That's right, we get to open up an issue of the Duelist Weekly. Hopefully it's a good issue. Come on, something good. Great White, Moon Yang Curry, this should not be a rare. It only heals you for 200. I know Professor Satir likes it, but he shouldn't even exist yet. Orion the Battle King, this is one of my friend's cards in the Duels of the Roses. Great White isn't terrible if I make a water deck, I guess. I'll give it that. Alright, I need to find Rex Raptor. I found Weevil Underwood, but no Rex Raptor. Let's try it down here. I have a week to find him. Yeah, Hyo Kyo Kyo, that sounds like Weevil to me. Alright, Rex, my friend, where are you? There's those guys. Esperoba's there. Alright, do I have 10 wins on all these guys yet? I need one more win on Kaiba. Let's get a win on Kaiba. And honestly, where the hell is Rex? You would think he'd be easy to find. Instead, I'm finding all the harder duels to find, like Kaiba. Kaiba boy. 
Alright, Kaiva, my deck is not as good as it used to be, so let's see if I can handle you with it. Seems like... Oh, I drew two Dark Magicians. That's really bad. Well, actually, if I can throw them away, it's not the worst. Oh, wait a minute. I drew Dark Magic Ritual. Ooh. Ooh, that changes everything. So I don't need to throw away two Dark Magicians. I really want to keep a Time Wizard. But I'm not going to. Time Wizard's in the deck for a very specific reason. One that you'll see in the two-player duels. I want to decide what I get next. I was thinking Mystical Elf, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold her on to her. I might need her. Gemini Elf, yes, very good card. I did need Big Eye to get flips, so thank you. Because now I get to decide what's best. So I got a copycat, dark sa okay, so there's uh cats out of the bag. This is the Oh shit! I didn't click. Ah well, we're drawing, uh, we're gonna draw dark. We're gonna draw dark sage way before I wanted to. I wanted to, so that's great. Not really. That's actually kind of terrible. All right, boop, boop, boop. Let's make sure we got rid of good traps and not shit. Uh, good, good, good. Okay, we got rid of good traps. Okay, now I can go all out. I activate the dark magic ritual. I did not mean copycat. Shit. Okay, I'm getting very clicky today. I'm clicking buttons I don't mean to click. But at the same time, it's fine. At least I didn't lose Mystical Elf. I want a copycat, and then I would have done 1,900 extra damage this turn, but... Cooper, I don't always get what I want, guys. I don't always get what I want. And we know we're drawing Dark Sage next turn, which is just not in, not what I wanted either. It's just a lot of no. I'm getting a lot of no today. Wow, he didn't draw anything. That is lucky. Yeah, this was not what I wanted. I mean, it's what I want to summon eventually on the channel. It's a 9-star spellcaster that lets you get a... Uh, a spell card from your deck to your hand. It's so good. It is so good. But summoning it is so hard. You have to get a Dark Magician on the field, and then you have to summon it. And, uh, uh, and, no, and then you have to summon Time Wizard, activate Time Wizard's effect, and do it successfully. As long as you do that, you can summon Dark Sage. Which is super high risk. Ooh, Royal Decree. My deck doesn't run as many traps anymore, so Royal Decree comes in handy. Magician of Black Chaos, get to work. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and complete my turn. Honestly, the only thing I'm afraid of right now is Cyberstein. That, that, that's the one thing that would beat my Magician of Black Chaos that he could summon. Hey, Crass Clown, you're gonna come in handy. I don't want you right now because he might have a flip effect. And if he does, I want, I want to at least have something left over. Nope, just a Black Lamp Fire. You know, at least it's a dragon that fits that fits good old Kaiba's motif. There we go. Kaiba, you like your dragons, don't you? You might like them a little too much. Oh, son of a bitch. Not, not good. Not good. I know I'm drawing monsters still. I know that much. Witch of the Black Forest? Screw it. Witch of the Black Forest. Actually, a really good card. This is going to come in handy. Oh, man. I wish I would have properly used that big eye. Well, I know my last card that I'm going to draw is also a monster card. And Witch of Black Forest will get me a monster card, so that's good. Still sucks what happened. And now he'd finally top deck a good monster. Nothing I can't handle, but it's a good monster. Go ahead. 800, no. Witch of Black Forest effect. I don't want to chain. Alright, let's see. I'm going to get a lot of good cards in this deck. A lot of good cards. Oh. Might want a copycat. I might want a dark elf. Let's get a dark elf. Guarantee that we can beat it. Yeah, I can get dark elf with this. So if just in case I'm able to defeat my opponent, it's actually really broken. Graceful charity. I guess I, I was out of. Oh, I shuffled my deck. That's why. Graceful charity. I can get rid of my dark sage. That's the good news. Hey, there's another magician of black chaos. I don't need. Hooray. Uh, what else, what else did I get? Heavy Storm, Max of Despair? Beautiful. I'm gonna summon my Dark Elf. Uh, I'm actually not gonna give her the Axe of Despair in case he has a Dark Hole still. Don't use up all your options, kids. It's not worth it, trust me. And adults, don't don't waste all your options. Yeah, I know, I know, I lost a thousand freaking life points, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. What matters is that I top deck a monster next turn. That's all that matters. He didn't top deck anything. He must have a bunch of powerful monsters in his hand. Magician of Faith is a damn good monster, and it won me the duel. I'm going to summon Magician of Faith. I'm going to activate that Axe of Despair, and we win. Just barely, but we win. 
All right, Kaiba, you weren't on my target week, but you were. I wanted to see if this deck could handle you. My spellcasters are coming in. Yeah, 100 life points left. That's why Magician of Faith is here. It's boom. Who needs her effect when we could just win? All right, very good. I lost. Yeah, that's your 10th loss in a row, buddy. You, you got to feel bad about that one. Uh, let's get a Relinquish pack. Amoeba. Ooh. Invader of the Throne. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, Malevolent Nuzzler's good. Gravekeeper Servant could be a funny. Uh, Rex Raptor? Rex Raptor? No? Okay. Running out of days to find Rex Raptor here. Since you're participating in the Battle State Tournament, you probably know what it takes. Thank you. No, I don't need any tips. I'm good. And if you want any tips, I'm not giving you any. Alright, let's see. It's the same people, isn't it? Uh, Shizu's new. Okay, I cannot get them to appear. Yeah, thank you for saying the exact same thing, random passerby. I need to find Rex Raptor. I'm running out of time. It's the same people, isn't it? These three people are following me around, and I'm getting one new person every time. Okay, Sunday's my last chance. I might not complete target week. There are definitely a lot of good duelists, I agree. This is an urgent announcement for all participating duelists. There have been several incidences of people getting robbed. I'm not gonna get, I'm probably about to get robbed out of my target week, so I also agree with them. All right, let's see. Nope, didn't do it. Couldn't do my target week. Rex Raptor hid away, it hid from me. All right, um, I don't know. I already dueled Taya 10 times. Let's go over here. That sucks. And we found one of them. Okay. At least we could probably get a good card from them if I don't lose with my new deck. Odeon! Oh, shit. I am Odeon. This is not good. He is a new opponent, and he is a very powerful opponent. In fact, he's probably one of the best rare hunters you're going to run into in this game. I am in trouble. Okay. In fact, most of his deck is traps. Yeah, yeah. There they are. And there they are. I got Heavy Storm on the first turn. Yes! Let's do Graceful Charity first to see if he has a Magic Jammer. Now that we know he has a Magic Jammer, he can no longer use it. I stopped him. Very good. And now, it's I know it sucks to lose Graceful Charity, but... Heavy Storm. Now let's see all the crap he would have used on us. Look at all these traps he has, son of a bitch. Uh, Raigeki, he had to throw away. Amazing. Enchanted Javelin, annoying but not crazy. Widespread Ruin, amazing card. I'm glad I got rid of it. Magic Thorn, not as crazy. Not as crazy. So Widespread Ruin was the big get, and uh, Raigeki, for sure. For sure, Raigeki. Uh, I want Big Eye's effect. I wish I could go aggressive now that I, he has no hand or, for, or, or back row. I wish I could go aggressive. He also has Worst Raider. I did not, uh, did not think he would. I thought he was more of a trap guy, but no, he's also amazing. All right, big guy, I'm going to use you correctly this time. Dark Sage, you go all the way to the back. I don't even want to draw you. I want this duel to be over before I draw you. Very so Charity, you get to the front. Dark Magic Curtain, you can be in front. Jinzo, you get to the front. Okay, I did what I needed to do. We're good. Thank God I'm getting Graceful Charity again. That'll help. All right, unless he has a... Oh, I mean, Magic Jammer's not going to stop me, so it's fine. I activate this. Okay, got everything I needed. He probably has a card that can kill me. Okay, I have to get rid of two cards. Obviously, Dark Magician and... We're Stern Mystic and Stern Mystic. Even though I do want to see his face down, it ain't worth. I'm just going to summon Copy Cat. And we're going to copy his cat. And I'm not willing to attack, obviously, because I'll die. And next turn, I'll try to summon Jinzo because Jinzo will completely counter him. And if I can't, then I'll be pissed. Wow, this man has balls. This man has actual balls. Oh, there's the Dark Sage. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I can Dark Magic Curtain. You know what? Let's take the risk. I know, I know. Don't ever do this on a Rare Hunter, especially not Odeon. But I'm going to pay half my life points to summon Red Dark Magic. Yep, that's why. Shit. We don't know what's after Dark Sage either. What did he top deck? Okay, possible trap card. Probably it's honestly gonna be a trap card. Okay, I can get heavy storm back. That would be great or honestly anything Anything would be great as long as he doesn't get a monster He didn't get a monster. Okay, heavy storm storage store is a good bet You know what? Maybe it's not maybe I have a better bet. Maybe just summoning Jinzo is a good bet first things first though boop 
Okay, I could also get Graceful Charity. If I lose Jinzo, it would be bad. I'm gonna get Graceful Charity, because I think Jinzo's uh, better than Heavy Storm, because he always has traps, I'm not expecting any spells. We already got rid of Raigeki and Dark Hole. He, had, he doesn't have any of the spells that can kill Jinzo, I don't think. So, let's go with this. Activate Graceful Charity. That way I can get rid of Dark Sage. Freebo might be needed, just in case. Magician of Faith, you're broken as hell, and I'm not going to use you anymore. Mass Sorcerer, on the other hand, will be getting used. Yami, I'll use later, because this doesn't help Jinzo at all. Jinzo, you're the best counter for this enemy, so thank you. Thank you. As long as he doesn't draw any crazy monsters that we don't know about, or crazy spells that he hasn't already used, we should be fine. Ah, he got top deck a monster. Are you kidding me? What kind of luck stat does this man have? Ultimate Offering will come in handy. Uh, now is the time to use Yami. Just because I'm going to use my Mass Sorcerer. I put him in the deck because not only is he a Spellcaster, but he has a great effect. Honestly, a really great effect. Something I could use. And something I'm going to use. That's Cyber Jar. I have lost everything. Oh my god, where is my monsters? Okay. Yes, aggressive. Let's see what kind of hand he gets. Okay, useless. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so not the craziest hand, not the best hand for me either. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to main phase two. We're gonna go ahead and activate or set this card. We know he has Trap Hole, Solemn Judgment, Magic Jammer, uh, all the stuff that's gonna stop my Monster Reborn next turn. So if I don't Monster Reborn this turn, I'm not resummoning my Jinzo. But if I resummon Jinzo, Mystical Elf is dead. I should put her in defense mode. I thought he wouldn't get a monster since he's all traps. I could also just go straight up for Dark Magician, but then he can use his traps that he just got. Yeah, let's uh, let's just make sure he doesn't get to do this. If he kills Jinzo again with, with more bullshit, then I'll, I'll be I'll be like, damn. And I could always use Karibo if I feel like the damage is a little too much. So go ahead and set all your traps, which won't do anything. I don't think 900 damage is enough for Karibo to be justified. Yep, yep, yep. Look at all those traps you can't use. See, this is why I did this. I have Dark Hole for Emergencies. I could summon Karibo for Dark Magician Girl if I really need to, which I'm not going to. Because I want Karibo in my hand where he has a bit of better use. Sucks about Mr. Elf, I should have put her in defense, I agree. But I got greedy thinking that he wouldn't get any monsters, and I was almost right! One out of five, uh, one out of five is all he got. And he top deck a monster, and he played all his spells and traps. Alright, Pato Greed, what a lucky card to draw. Alright, Royal Command! If I lose my monster, that'll help me with flip effects. I got two Dark Magician Girls, a Dark Hole, and a bunch of traps that I can't use at the moment. If this is a flip effect monster, I'm going to hell. Mask of Darkness, fine by me. Honestly, it fits his deck a little too well. Oh, look at all these magic jamming cards he has. And he has Solemn Judgment, but he can't stop the Jinzo who's stopping him. And he can't play any more spells and traps. Ah, oh, but he top deck a monster. Every time he top de decks a monster, I get really sad. And I'm not drawing any monsters. I oh, I might as well just set Karibo. God damn it. Eh, god damn it. I should have just said it a long time ago. Alright, he better not get the turnaround starting now. If he top decks a card to get rid of all, all my monsters somehow, even though he already used Raigeki and Dark Hole. Yeah, that was his third Vorse Raider. He's out of Vorse Raiders. I can beat Odeon, guys. I can beat him. He should be tapped out by now. That's right. All done. No more craziness from Odeon. Copycat? It's, it's fine. We didn't need you anyway. Dark Magician Girl, on the other hand, we've thrown away a few cards that you might like. Say hello to Dark Magician Girl with 2,800 attack. She got 600 because Dark Magician and Magician of Black Chaos are in my graveyard. 2,800 attack and 24 for game. God damn, Odeon. That was a close one. That was a close one. Don't mess with Odeon, guys. At least I'm going to get good cards from this because I did not do my target week. Ugh, I must not fall. I must protect Master. But must protect Master Merrick. Alright, Crush Card. Flame Swordsman. Panther Warrior. Interesting. Uh, I actually already have all these cards but the Flame Swordsman. That's an awesome card to get. Even though I'm not going to use it yet. 
Here are the results. I don't want to hear it. I know. I missed Rex. He, he stopped appearing. He's about to be on the map, isn't he? There, there he is. Look at the game it's taunting me. Hey, Rex. I want to duel you real quick, buddy. You piece of shit. <laughs> you ran away from me somehow. You hid. And now I'm going to beat you. Up. Not joking. Prepare to suffer. I'm very upset he hid from me. Ah, I drew my Dark Sage. I like to keep that in my deck. If I'm lucky enough. Alright, I got to throw you away. And I might as well throw you away. I'll just summon the Bistro Butcher. He can't beat that. It's Rex Raptor. His best cards are like 1600 attack unless it's his fusions. Or tribute monsters, which he's not going to be able to do. Alright. Haha, -ha, I got you. I'm going to activate Royal Decree. No, wait. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm winning. Don't activate Royal Decree unless you really need to stop your opponent. Okay, I would like to summon Copycat, but I guess I'm not going to. I'm going to play a risky Dark Magic Curtain. Cost me 4,000 life points, but I'll get to summon one of my Dark Magicians. The red one. I only put red ones in my deck, guys, because they're the coolest. I'm sorry. If you wanted to see variety, you shouldn't have clicked on this video. We're going to have red Dark Magician. Or if I had original Dark Magician. Son of a bitch. I paid 4,000 life points for nothing. I paid 4,000 life points for nothing. That's so bad. Oh, God. Okay. It's a little bit better. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I have Magic Cylinder. It sucks, though. It sucks what just happened. It really does. I lost a lot of good cards. Fungi of the... Wait, that character can't even kill me. I have 400 defense. What was he thinking? Like, one, what was he thinking putting that card in his deck? Two, what was he thinking summoning it when he knew what my monster was? Okay, well, I top deck Dark Elf, and I have Premature Burial, and I'm going to win this duel. So, first things first, Premature Burial. Pay a little bit more life points to get back my Dark Magician Girl. She'll have 2300 attack thanks to Magician and Black Chaos being in the graveyard. I'm going to summon the Dark Elf. Funny enough, Time Wizard can defeat him. No, I'm not going to activate his effect. That would be a really, really bad idea. I almost did by accident, honestly. 500 attack, go. Fungi of the Musk, get out of here. And let's get uh, Rex down to our life point level. Uh, well, close to it. It's not going to be close. Oh, I'm going to lose life points again. So he's not quite there. Yeah, he'll get to the 3000s, but I'm in the low 2000s, so that's not good. Oh, shit. Rex, my boy, you need to you need to take it easy on old Cooper. Cooper's in trouble. <laughs> Dark World Thorns, another weird card I never expected you to use on me. It's it's adorable that you would even try that, buddy. What happened to your dinos? Oh, I don't think Dark World Thorns works with anything unless you run Flower Wolf. All right, Magician of Black Chaos. If I could throw away my whole hand right now, I'd be able to do stuff. But the duel's over. See, this is what would have happened during target week, and I would have gotten money. Or, I mean, not, well, points, and a better freaking uh, card pack. The gold pack. Where all the best cards lie. And some of the bad ones. If you get unlucky. Alright, just Dark Elf, go ahead. I know, I know, I'm putting myself at 1200. It was a close duel, Rex. All my cards cost, like, have a high cost. It's a high risk deck. High risk, high reward. And the reward has been I won every time. Even against Odeon. Yeah, back to the drawing board for you and your dinos. Um, in respect for Rex Raptor, I'll pick the... There's no Rex Raptor pack. I guess the Harpy pack. Uh, practical there. I got a dino. Okay. I got a dino from it. I even got Petite Moth for uh, Weevil. What's going on now? Oh, that's nice. We're getting more free cards. This is This is a good week. This is a good week. Odeon was the best uh, was the best thing about the week, though. Bone Mouse, what are you? Oh, wait, I already get you in the other packs. You're not... So this would have been special if I didn't already get it from the other packs. The rest of this is shit. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we'll be continuing on our journey, trying to earn points, which at the moment, we have 8,990. We're getting very close to 10K. See y'all then. Don't forget to like and subscribe.